Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5Art.co.uk Hello, my name is Clive from Clive's Art and Dot Code UK. Thank you very much for taking that my invitation and joining me once again in the studio here in Wales where I paint away the stress of everyday life. There's lovely. And today we're going to be looking at the human form once again. I did one not so long ago and there's been a few uh, posts actually on the um, Clive Five Art family. If you want to know what that is, that's on Facebook. Please check the descriptions below. Giovanni Cavadi is the um, search press, which is the human form. This is the book that I'm actually going off. I've taken a liberty of using a couple of different um, sketches out of this book uh, to combine into one. I won't go through the entire booklet because, um, just in case, there's a couple of under 18s watching this. But because it, it, it is, it's not. A, I, I wouldn't say it was um, over the top, really seductive, but. I don't want to show that type of thing on the on on the um, on the on the, on the lessons basically. Oh look, I'm blushing. <laughs> but the ISBN number is there, and it's also listed in the description. So we'll say no more about that. So what I want to do today is take my hat off because it's getting quite warm in here, and uh, let's have a look at the colours I'm going to be using today. So I got a little bit of yellow, as uh, medium yellow, and I got some medium um, yellow and red mixed together which is the cadmium red, cadmium yellow, mixed together, giving me a cadmium orange. You can buy this pre-mixed, which is what this is, because I didn't want to take any of my time up actually mixing it. I've got um, a little bit of... Um, what is that, Clive? I've forgotten what it is. It's Naples yellow. That's what it is, yes. So it's... Um, it's you can mix Naples yellow quite easily with using a little bit of cadmium yellow. You can add a little bit of the... Um, 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 yellow ochre to that to get that type of color you know it doesn't it doesn't have to be that particular color as long as you've got it roughly around there you're fine so if you haven't got any naples yellow then just add cadmium yellow and a touch of um, yellow ochre to that and then you get roughly that color again pre-mixed because i just want to save time and yellow ochre i got some burnt ember i got some mars black and some titanium white but there i've got a little bit of fluid in there and i got a little bit of what well, i did have a little bit of fluid in there i'll put a little bit that in there in a minute um and that's my medium mix formula that's a little bit of liquid clear which i use to help me painting so without further ado let's go and get onto this canvas it's been pre-primed um it's been gessoed three times with just white gesso and i put a burnt ember wash on there and it's a 30 by 40 centimeters which is 12 by 15 inches if you're european like me so let's not waste any more time let's just get on to the painting so as you can see um i've got a uh, my medium mix there i've actually put in there now and i got one of these little foam brushes here we are you can buy these in any hobby craft shop or uh, well any any art shop actually i'm just going to put a little bit of moisture by there and i'm going to pick up some burnt ember there you go and i'm just going to thin that down very lightly like that and hopefully hopefully we can just put a very thin wash of color now over the background just to get rid of some of that white I've just got a bit of tissue paper and I'm just going to pull that across like this just to put a, a very light ground on um, just chucking that in the water just put a very light ground on just basically stained the canvas that's all I did I didn't want to go all the way over with the with the burnt ember with the sponge brush because it would have destroyed my line work so I just wiped that over with a cloth or a kitchen roll or something like that just to stain down the canvas and that's all i wanted to do in this instant okay so um i'm going to go through the brushes as i'm going to use them i'm using a number six um detailing brush like that and um, again i'm going to go straight into some some of this burnt ember i'm going to bring that there i'm going to bring some 
yellow ochre to it and I just want to get a nice tone of colour really that's all I'm looking for is that tiny nice tone of colour I need to move this light I think because this light is really annoying it's got a lot of shadow on the palette so let's do that it's a bit better oh that that's a little bit better isn't it it is okay so let's just find the shape of this arm like that need it a bit thinner maybe bringing a bit of white in as well so she's got her arm up like that that's what she's looking at I think I think that's what I've got in my mind as I said I took a couple of ideas from a couple of different sketches in this book so she needs to come down there her breast is going to come there like that Let's just put her breast in place like that we should never shy away from trying to paint the human form it's it's a really nice way to to learn shapes as well so I'm getting a bit of more burned umber just down there we've got a bit of a spine area like that I'm going off a sketch as you know I normally go off sketches and then just bring in a bit more white down to the one side and just allowing this to I'm not looking for skin tones again you don't have to worry about skin tones you can you can paint a paint in just in burnt umber which is what I'm trying to do you burnt umber a little bit of yellow ochre just get that shape that we need um, and I'm going to put a little bit of highlight just on the top of the breast and a little bit down there maybe just using the white and on top of the burned umber just to get a little bit of form going on at this stage I'm not too worried about too much um, worrying about too much of the blending I should say and uh, so I'm just concentrating on getting in some shapes really and my dark I need I need that's gonna be dark in there That's not part of the body actually. Let's get a little bit of black just to separate that like that. Taking all that off the brush, get a bit of burn down the back over here and bringing that arm back down and finding the shape. Now this is a little bit more advanced. Um, this is for somebody that's gone past that beginner stage and more into an intermediate stage so you know what I should be know what I'm talking about but I mean if you're just a beginner and you want to have a go have a go there's there's no rules or regulations and there's no reason why you can't have a go because I got greatest confidence in you and I know that if you try hard enough you will succeed in what you want to do so I'm just bringing in some light just just playing with the light at the moment I'm just trying to get some form that's the buttock let's get down into this buttock area like that nice sweep in motion this is just a steady so don't worry too much get that sweep Don't worry about skin tones and things like that. That's not what we want to worry about when we're doing something like this. All we're looking for is some shape and form. A bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of burnt umber. Just getting a bit of colour in there. 
In fact, just going to change my brush. I'm going to pick up a short flat. There you go. Use the same brush technique then um, on you. So the breast is there. That's going to mean the body is going to come down, down that way. Get a bit of light in there now. This is smoothly transcend and merge into one like this. It's using the brush. Find these shapes now with a little bit of white. Find these shapes. Might need a little bit more white than you think. That's my excuse anyway. Just 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 find this form. Not easy to find the form you're looking for. But it's there. You just need to find it and push it up your brush. Just need to find it and push it up your brush. Let's go down there. A little bit lighter down that edge there like that. And then let's get a bit of colour in, in there. Bring that around. Taking a bit of excess off my brush, going to straight into some burnt umber. Let's just put some shadow into this cheek area. Not too worried about. Get a little bit of a cheek showing. We're gonna we're gonna be obscuring that anyway, obscuring that shortly. So don't worry too much about that. A little bit of black. Let's just get a little bit of shadow in there, don't there, like that. Let's lift this cheek up a bit more. Let's get this. concentration on my part just one second so we can get this cheeky area a bit of cheek a little cheeky cheek 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 there you go a bit of light. Scrub a bit of light then. Get some light then there. going to get another short flat. I'm just going to moisten my brush, take the moisture out of my brush and there we go. And then I'm going to use this as a blender. So I'm just going to basically merge all this together. Let's get a bit of burnt umber now and let's just Get this angle. I'm 
just straighten the burns under. And let's make sure we get this arm right. Maybe a bit thicker, eh? so we need to thin down that arm a touch. Now we've done that, we need to lift our breast up a bit. Let's just get a bit of negative shape first of all. So. Looks a bit weird to me. How does that look to you? It looks a bit weird to me. Let's just get a bit of shape. So the buttock is there. That thigh needs to come out a little bit more there than tonight. That's okay, we can live with that, because i got an idea for this anyway, so as long as i got a rough idea. I need to get a, a nice little filbert brush back into these colours here, and I want to just play this breast out a bit now. What I'm going to have to do, I think, is I'm going to have to let this dry a bit. I'm going to dry it with a hairdryer in a minute, I think. And then we can... play around a bit more. strengthen the lines up. Okay, before I do that though I'm just going to get some burnt them and some black. I'm just going to put some hair in. If, you want, if you've got a chance of doing a life study, then do a life study. and Because you, you'll learn so much by doing a life study. I've only ever done a couple, and uh, I'm mainly my wife. <laughs> so if I wish I had my wife in front of me at the moment, I could paint this a little bit better. Then, you know, But going off a drawing then is not as easy. Because I like, I like to study um, this type of thing. It's like when you're doing a still life, then it's, it's a lot easier to actually have the still life in front of you. 
and you actually go for them something that you were memory and my memory of the female form is not as good as it used to be. <laughs> so you know, it's um it's, it's it's that's that's what I suggest you do. If you've got a, a chance to do it um and then uh, do that. But um as an exercise this is pretty good I think. What I'm going to do now, I think, I think what I'm going to have to do now is dry that off very quickly with a hairdryer um, and then we can start putting some more layers on it, I think. Okay, so that's okay. So again, I'm going to go into a short flat and um, bring in some burned umber back over there and a bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to bring a little bit of that yellow in, maple's yellow, a little bit of white just to get a little bit of a, a nice colour going on there and I'm going to work on this arm here I'm going to just take my time to just find the shape that I'm looking for and a bit of white just down that edge A bit darker colour then down there. I'm putting that little bit of white there it makes it look as if it's an elbow falling away then. Very very light and smooth and brush that in. Let's get a little bit of more burnt amber. I'm going to bring a little bit of yellow ochre to it. Burnt amber and yellow ochre. Take the excess off my brush and just finding that tone of this arm and shoulder area like that. Be very loose with this just to get that colour in, the tonal difference. Contrast is is key. Contrast is key. There we go. Bringing a bit of white now, just to lighten that area up. A bit more white. as if it's just catching a the light there. More white. Just on the top of the buttock area. There. Again, there. Just trying to get some of the lighter areas in there. I'm just going to get a bit of colour. Like there's a dip in the back there. I want to lose this area. I want 
going to go a bit darker down here. Just get into some burnt ember and looking pretty good. As I said, I'm not too worried, but. This area. Bit of a droopy bum there, I think, but it doesn't matter. The droopy bum there. Okay, so let's get a bit more white down. Let's look at this area. Using the brush like this. Don't worry about skin tones. This is um, a good exercise to just to practice with your burnt umber and you've got your, your yellow ochre. And they are good skin tone colours actually. So bear that in mind. They're actually good skin tone colours. But as a study, which is what this is. It's worth doing. Really is. Get to learn so much by doing a study like this. And if you can study from life, wow. If you can study from life, it's even better for you as an artist. If you're a male, artist and ask your wife if she'll pose for you. If you're a female artist, ask your husband if he'll pose for you. And you'd be surprised that not everybody likes to do that, but you know, it's 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 a good way to it's a good way to do it. Okay, so let's just get some let's just get together some burnt umber now. Let's just play around with this background a minute. Let's just get some balance in, on that. I got a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm just going to balance this off with a bit of yellow ochre. A little bit of orange in there as well. Just merging all that together like this. Just a bit of warmth in the background. A bit of orange here and in there just to give it a bit of warmth. Check a bit of white up here, why not? Play around with your backgrounds. Try and marry these colours together. The background on the portrait or something is just as important, really. It really is. It's just as important. Maintaining that nice dark colour around the subject then. And then bringing a bit of yellow ochre back in. Get that transition going of colour. Let's get a little bit of that lovely, lovely yellow that we got. That Naples yellow in there. Let's get a little bit of Naples yellow just to give that a little bit of a zing. There you go, a bit of a zing. A bit of orange. This is where the orange is coming in. Thinking of your background is important and if your paint is a little bit dry just add a little bit of moisture not a lot you don't want a lot of moisture just a touch just merging all that in together like that get a little bit of burnt ember again bring a little bit of burnt ember here and there just a little fleck just a little fleck like this just to marry it all up. There you go. Let's go down a bit redder down here. A bit more orange in there. 
bit more orange in this corner. I want to warm this corner up, corner up. I want to warm this corner up. Think your background. I keep saying that, but it's true. Got to think your background. Just going to put a bit of that yellow colour. Just to give it a bit of a light spot here and there like that. Just to break it up a touch. A bit of neighbor's yellow is wonderful. To breaking things up. Just a little bit of a, a nice abstract type of background there. Too much paint on your brush. Take a little bit off. Don't worry. Just blend it in. Now the paint is starting to lift. This is what we want. We want the, I want the paint to start to lift now. I want to get that drag effect off. Look, can you see? Now we've been making the paint work to our advantage. Where we can actually drag some paint away. And you can take that one step further actually. You could get a little bit of kitchen roll. Like this. And very lightly you can drag some paint off like that or you could just pick it up off in spaces like that and look at that wonderful effect you can have without working too hard so we'll continue do the, doing that all the way around A little bit of orange in there. Let's get a little bit of light in this area now. We've got a darkish type of area, we want a, a lighter type of area this way. So we're adding a little bit of Naples yellow, a little bit of orange here and there, like this. There you go. A little bit of burn damper on your brush just to change the flavour of the touch. I've got a little bit marred there, but it doesn't matter. Brush that in anyway. And let's get some more burn damper down. I tell you what boys, I tell you, if you're going to paint a nude, paint your wife. <laughs> Otherwise they'll be wondering, what are you doing? Where have you been? Who have you been seeing? <laughs> and the same with you ladies as well. So if you're going to paint a male, make sure that your husband knows what you're painting. Yes. <laughs> yes. Put a little bit of that colour in. Like that. Okay. Got a little bit off. There we are. Lovely, 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 lovely. Lovely. A bit of yellow ochre. Bit of yellow ochre now. Just to. Yeah, yes, like that. Just to bring it a little bit of a lift. Bit of burnt umber. Okay, now we need our, our detailing brush. Let's go into a number three detailing brush, or a number four, or a number a number four. <laughs> and let's get some burn down, a little bit of black now. Burn down, a little bit of black. There we are, been burned up a bit of black. And let's just put in some lines like this, like as if it's here okay. 
Be nice and loose. Be nice and loose with this. Build the hair. A bit of yellow ochre. Let's get a bit of yellow ochre now in. in. Some light marks here and there like that. Well, we can do a wash over this in a minute just to darken all that down. Okay. Just let that dry for a second. Go back into our light colour. Put a few light. marks in like that. Catching the top of this breast again. Is a tip for you. It's a Q-tip. <laughs> it's a Q-tip. There you go. Q-tip. Okay, a little bit of moisture on it, and then you can use that to blend in your highlights if you want to. Is it cheating? No, it's not. It's just using the tools you've got to hand. And it looks a little bit more real then. Get a bit of highlight coming in on the buttock there. And you've got another bit of highlight coming in off the rear buttock, the other side. There. Down there. 
How's that look so far? Looks pretty good, I think. Looks pretty good, I think. Let's just put a little bit of light there, like as if her arm's going across. And let's put a bit more colour. There's my little Molly. Here's my little Molly. Hope it's not too dark. It is. We need to get some burnt amber on our pallets. Where's the burnt amber too? There you go. Because I've lost my shape there now. I do tend to forget to talk sometimes when I am um, concentrating so much. So what I got to do now is get a nice short flat, make sure it's nice and clean. Get some white. First thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of that colour there, just to dirty that white off. And then I'm going to go from there. I'm just gonna not that. Oh, she got a sash. Oh no no. Just riding all those little things like that, look. It's not so rude. <laughs> it's not so rude. Just get Get my other brush now. Make sure that's dry up there. Get my other brush. Again, some burnt umber. Moisture. Burnt umber and moisture. Again, I'm just going to go over the hair now. Just to colour that back. Like that. And as I said, this is just a study painting. If you can improve on this, it's great. And this is like going from advanced, uh, in, going from um, beginner to intermediate. So give it a try. The um, actual drawing is on. I'm going to be on my website, www.play5art.co.uk. So just give it a try. Because you never know until you do what you can achieve with this and I will be looking it's looking pretty good you can see what I'm trying to do and again as I said I've only got limited time in the studio so something like this would normally take me 
a couple of others. But this is, I haven't got a couple of hours because I wanted to show you this and I think it's important that you see this type of thing, so um, okay, so I want to put a little bit of a line in in there let's get some white I'm loading this brush up reasonably thick now because I want to try and put in some definite folds of lace or satin or whatever this is I think it's like silk it's going to be silky And just pull your brush, twist your brush like that. You get a more natural looking feel to these things then. Just where folds are catching the light and they're falling off the body. It's just a more natural type of feel to this then. Like that. There you go. There you go. Put in as much detail now as you want. That's what I suggest you do. So if you haven't already watched my videos then please subscribe by pressing the subscription button. There's a little me down there with my thumb up. You can press on that. You can go in the descriptions below and um, you can follow the link there to subscriptions if you wanted to. And um, or just go along to my main channel and just type in hashtag Clive Five Art. That should take you along to the main channel. If not, again, look in the descriptions below and um, give me a thumbs up. Um, please like and comment. And um, all I need to do now is just strengthen up a couple of areas here and there. Just to give it a little bit more of a, a little bit of a punch, I think. I want to darken down maybe an area there. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Sometimes you get really good effects by just using your fingers. There you go. So please like, comment and subscribe and if you haven't already done so and pop along to the Clive Five Art family group and uh, there's loads of like-minded people in there and competitions and all these wonderful things. And um, all it remains me to do today is just sign at the bottom corner. I'm going to call this one done. So my name is Clive from Clive's Art at Dot Co. UK. Have a good day, good week, a good month, a good year. Because I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this as time is relative on YouTube. So God bless, and until the next time, I will see you in the studio then. Nice. Hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. 
It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk